What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tamika, for real. Y'all had to move the tripod. What's going on? I hope you guys are all having a blessed and happy Friday. TGI after y'all. Oh, excuse me. Y'all, my Friday's been going very well. Um, Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, what's up, my newbies and my trubies? Thank you guys for like, comment, and subscribing to your girl. Hit that post notification bell. That's going to alert you guys. Whenever your girl drop a new video for all my old supporters, y'all, thank y'all for the love, the prayers, just everything. For all of my new supporters, thank y'all for the love, if the prayers, everything, y'all. Just keep it coming, y'all. And I appreciate each and every last one of you guys. I just want you guys to know that before I start my video. But anywho, like I was saying, y'all, welcome to the channel, you guys. You guys are loved over here. Y'all welcome over here. You know, we try to keep it straight positive. My channel, if you guys are new, um, for those of you, this may be your first video y'all decided to browse to, you know. Um, my videos be on the straight and narrow, you know. I touch bases on a lot of things, you know. I may go on the YouTube street sometimes and get deep, um, and I tag the names in, the people I'm talking, you know, about. I, it's not necessarily saying I'm talking about the people, but I may discuss their situations. You know, you put your situation out there on YouTube, Tamika for real gonna talk about the situation, you know, and how I feel about it. Hey, that's just like Facebook, right? Put your business out there, people comment. You don't like it, take your shit down, don't put it up there, right? So yeah, and then I might, you know, I used to do cooking videos. I gotta start back with my cooking videos because I hadn't did one in a while. But it's just a lot of different stuff. Y'all go back and check out my um, old videos and stuff if this is your first time browsing my channel, y'all, and see what your girl got going on, y'all. So, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like. Hit that post notification bell. Comment down below. Let me know if you like my channel, if you're new, y'all. If you don't, I mean, hey, constructive criticism never hurt nobody. I struggle saying that. Criticism. Criticism. I don't, what did I just say? I was talking like you just now. I heard it bad? Yeah, sometimes. But anyway, y'all, let's get right off into this thing, y'all. Today's video is going to be about the missing girl and the whole everybody like the whole wide world is on this story right now y'all and i was like i don't know if y'all remember kanika jenkins i ain't gonna say that because i know everybody you know that's an unforgettable name well anyway this is a happens to be a white girl and her name is gabrielle gabby petito and she was just starting a, she was an upcoming youtuber from what i hear and if you guys go back, I mean, all you have to do is type in Gabby Petito, and I mean, you can follow the story. Everything is right there. And it's so, I'm just, I mean, I'm addicted to this story, like I was on Kanika Jenkins. The same way I was on, what her name was? The little girl, five-year-old, Malia Davis? Oh, yeah. Y'all, I mean, I be on these stories, trying to figure them out, and, 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 and I can't sleep. It just bothers me, because it's just like, you know, it's crazy how they just killing these people. And I'm not saying that. You know, she was killed. But if you guys go back and follow, um, like I said, just go look up Gabby Petito, y'all. The story is crazy. And it's all over the place. My heart goes out to her family. Um, his family, for the most part. Um, anyway, like I say, it's a 22-year-old white girl and her boyfriend. I'm not sure what his age is. He don't look like he's too much older than her. But anyway... What they they went hiking? Supposedly. Yeah, they they took a trip to go uh look like hiking, look like they was in a mountain somewhere or whatever. And they drove their little van and um so I guess they, they get into an altercation or whatever and maybe the park ranger or somebody see them and the police is called. Or was it the the fact that the police saw them swerve, I think. Yeah, because it was in the car and the altercation. Yeah, okay, I I bring that back. I ain't gonna say the park ranger at that point. Um, the police saw the van swerve and they stopped them and they thought it was, you know, somebody intoxicated or whatever. And when they stopped the van, come to find out the couple, you know, had been into an altercation. So the girl basically took the lick saying that she suffered with OCD. She was straightening up stuff and he got tired of her neatness and, uh, this and that. I don't know. She was all over the place. Really. I don't know. I, they really looked like they was under the influence. I don't know. I'm not, you know, calling, you know, but anyway, so 
the police talked to both of them. Both of their stories added up. You know, the girl, really, they put everything on the girl. She said, basically, I, I, you know, I was in the car slapping him. That's the reason the car swerved. And, you know, I got tired of him. He didn't want to accept the fact of my, you know, my vlogging, my YouTube. He kept saying, I guess saying that, you know, maybe putting her down. Like, every time she picked the camera, maybe he was, like, being a critic. Yeah, because she said, um, he, he didn't believe I could do it. Yeah, so, you know, and there's some people that do drive you when they really be like, you know, that's just like these little boys coming up won't be rappers. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people just like, man, that's not going to pay your bills. Right. You know, and then, you know, for YouTube, a lot of people got to understand, YouTube take a while before you really take uh, start making money. Right. You know how long it takes you to actually get a thousand subscribers to get monetized? You got to really be coming with some stuff to really get monetized quick. Yes. You know, and um, shoot, it took me like, what, a year? To get monetized, mm -hmm. some people could come into it and just what like that. three, four months yeah. and get monetized. It just depends on the material you're putting out there, mm -hmm. you know. But anyway, so the police persist to listen to her. She's crying hysterical and saying how she suffers with um, anxiety and OCD and this and that and this and that. And so they see how basically she's hyperventilating outside. So they tell her, go send the police car. You're not under arrest. Go catch some fresh air. You know, you're not in trouble. We just want to question and see what, talk to both of y'all and see what's going on. So they talk to her. You know, they hear her side. And they go talk to him. I ain't no rocket scientist. But how that boy look to you? Look, look weird. He was high. Yeah, they look like the, he, he was high. They both look high if you ask me. They were under the influence. And sometimes... I know how I mean it. That book was on some shit. Both of them. Yeah, I mean, you could see, you could clearly see that. Yeah. She didn't you, want to drive. She didn't want to drive. Poor thing was so scared. So I don't really drive like that. Yeah, I didn't get to that part yet, though. Yeah. Oh, y'all asses. Oh, y'all asses on my video. Yeah. Do all that. Yeah. So anyway, um, so the police makes the decision. They was asked to go and charge the girl once the stories came together. And the girl admitted that, yeah, I was putting my hands on him and... You know, because I was frustrated and blah, blah, blah. So the police is going to put a domestic violence charge on her. On her. Y'all heard me? On her. Where they do that shit at? Where I'm from, from what I know, domestic violence charges, both people get charged. Because you don't know who lying, you don't know who telling the truth. You don't know who getting abused, who taking up for who. Do another case. Yeah. Who's scared of who? And just putting the story together to make it fit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That could have been some Ike Turner, Tina Turner shit. They don't know how that stuff went down. And the police decided to make the decision to put domestic violence charges on it. Then they changed their mind and said, well, we're not going to do that. We're just going to separate y'all, right? So they said, well, we can't put her up in a hotel for the night. And then it was like, at this point, this is before they decided they wasn't, they, they, uh, how could I say it? At this point, they was going to still put the domestic violence charges on a girl. So at that point, they was like, well, we could put her to separate them two in a hotel. But then they was like, well, no, because once we go tell the, the, the hotel owners or whatever, manager, the reason we putting her in here and they find out that she was the aggressor, they won't take her. So we can only house him, being that he was not the aggressor. So... Okay, I can understand that. But then you make the decision to say, well, we're not going to charge it with domestic violence. So if you're not going to charge it with domestic violence, at that point, then nobody's the aggressor because nobody's charged with nothing. So why still not put her in a hotel and let him go drive the van? Y'all got to follow the story to see what I'm talking about. Go check it out, y'all. It's interesting. But anywho, what they end up doing is, now he drove apparently this whole trip there. I don't know how many hours. I think I forgot how many hours they said it was. Over 10 Mm -hmm. I, I, I forgot but he did the driving for the most part they in the mountains they put him in a hotel not only do they put him in a hotel they drive him to the hotel in a police vehicle and put the keys in her hand and say here you can go back where y'all was you know room that book that so the girl's all hysterical. She's basically like, well, I didn't, you know, I don't, I don't normally drive. I don't normally drive that van like that. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, it's not far. You'll be all right. She don't drive. You can tell she's scared. She was nervous. She was shaking. She was shaking. 
And she looked like she was full she of was something. Y'all, long story short, now she, she, she's gone. They don't know where she at. Disappeared. Missing. He came back, though. Mind you, he drove the van back to his where they were living at. Now, she was living with his parents. He took the van back? He took the van back. So where's her? Thank you. They had to have some kind of interaction. He drove that same van back to their house. The same van she pulled off in? Same van she pulled off in. Oh, right, right. And now, another killing point is, they went, they said like, wait, uh, what, two weeks later? And hired a lawyer? Because this is actually not a brand new story. Not brand, brand, brand new. It happened like towards the end of August. Wow. But she's still missing. And that's what makes this story so relevant right now. That's why I'm talking about it. Mm -hmm. She's still missing. He drove the van back. And didn't, and wasn't talking. Immediately his family hired a lawyer. He lawyered up. Lawyered up. Not talking. Parents, not, not talking. Not so he not telling the police nothing. He, he, he got something to hide. He not telling the parents. The parents calling. They want to ask. They're reaching out for help. They're just like, if, if y'all know something, anybody knows something, let us know. They're the only one. He's the only one. He's a key witness. But his lawyer told him, don't say nothing. That don't say right with me. That don't sit right with me. Me, I can't even talk. My nerves so bad. Me too. That don't sit too well with me either. How you do that? So they had a press uh, conference earlier, I saw, because y'all been keeping up with it, because I be on it. And the parents wrote a letter to his parents, the girl, uh, Gabby's parents, the missing girl, wrote a letter to his parents and said, put yourself in our shoes. You know, y'all need to let us know something. We think we that you, you guys know where, you know, our baby girl is, you know. How could y'all do that to her brothers and sisters, have them, you know, we can't even sleep at night, we can't even eat. She lived with y'all for a year. Y'all must have had some kind of attachment to her. You know? Man, y'all go follow that story. Gabby Petito. That is crazy. You know, with all we got going on in the world, and we still got stuff like this. A girl like she was so distraught. She looked very distraught. When they put in the, before they put it in the back of that police car, she looked very distraught. Y'all, domestic violence is real. You know, there's a hotline number to call if you guys are feel like you you are a victim of domestic violence, you know, go out and seek help. It don't get better. It gets worse. And at a blank of an eye, you know, you might think you just out there, you just, you know, having a little, yeah, well, he always, you know, he taps me every now and then. That one, it could, all it takes is one tap. I know a lady. I ain't gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say too much, but I know a situation where, where one tap turned into a death. And it wasn't even meant. Accidental. Accidental. Drinking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not thinking. Y'all get out. Seek help. That's not what it is, y'all. That's not what it is. You know, I pray that everything works out for this girl. She's a young girl. I got a 25-year-old daughter, y'all. My you, heart. You both do. Yeah, you do too, you know. He has a 25 year old daughter. And then you got another. How old is uh, your other daughter? 22. 22. She's the same age as that girl. Yeah. He has a 22 year old daughter. You know, and I, I mean, even if I didn't, you know, I got a, a 13 year old too. I mean, I didn't have to have kids to have a heart to know that that's not right. Y'all left together, y'all come back together. Y'all don't come back together, somebody owes somebody an explanation. Tell me right. Tell me right. You know, like vice versa. She'd have came back without you. Yeah. I don't want to know, you know, well, yeah, where's my home. son? Yeah, where my daughter at? Same difference. Yeah, where my shit at? Where my daughter at? So, y'all, like I said, it's going to be a quick video, y'all. I just want y'all to, um, I've been following this story, y'all, and I, you know, you know, I wanted to come do a quick video with y'all. I'm about to end this video, y'all. I'll probably come do something back with y'all later. I'm not sure. I was supposed to do a mukbang with y'all today. I was supposed to surprise y'all. I think that's what I'm going to do work at 12 midnight. Yeah, we probably could make that happen. Because there's some things that I want to do with y'all uh, that I got in store that I've been putting together. Because basically, y'all, what I've been doing is I've been really sitting back trying to get my YouTube channel together. Because there's a lot of things, you know, I haven't been having straight. I'm trying to get a certain area to where I can just straight vlog to where I don't have to be from, you know, place to place. Tired of sitting on the same sofa. You know, I want, I'm trying to get my setup together, in other words. A little studio area in my house. So. They said we go upstairs and do a video. Yep. So, so other, so 
yes so with that being said guys thank you guys for watching this video y'all gabby petito y'all go look her up and comment down below what you guys think happened to this young girl young beautiful girl nobody deserved what happened to this girl i'm not saying that she, that you know nothing detrimental happened to her we don't know that but for the fact she's not home and he drove back home that many hours and and she left behind like that that's not cool at all it's not cool so thank you guys like again like i said like again like i said once again for like comment and subscribing to the channel if you guys are new welcome to the channel continue to subscribe i'm not subscribed continue to watch your girl i love you guys i thank you for all the love and the support i'm about to end this video like i always say love you guys peace